and welcome to another Tips for Sociology. Today we are going to be looking at the work of Paul Hodkinson. Now Paul Hodkinson is a professor of sociology at the University of Surrey and his particular interests are in fatherhood, in digital media uh, and identity, as well as some early work that we are going to look at today which is in youth culture and youth. So where does Paul Hodkinson fit in? Well, he's primarily uh, looking at subcultures, so you could call him a subcultural theorist. He's principally interested in one specific subculture, which happens to be one which at the time of writing his PhD uh, and his book he is a member of, and that is the subculture known as goth, which I'm sure many of you have heard of. He's looking at goth in and around a time that subcultures and the idea of subcultures are becoming slightly less popular. We see a kind of um, new idea springing out, which is an idea of tribalism, of neo-tribes, which you might hear from Mafasoli and Bennett, which is a, a looser group which don't adhere to the norms and values of their, of their identity for, for very long. But Hodkinson is looking primarily at goths, which might be an example of a more typical subculture that you might have heard of or know. So what do we mean when we're thinking about what is a subculture? Well, a subculture is a culture within a culture and the group generally have a set of norms and values which is different to that of the rest of mainstream society. And then I suppose the logical question ne next is what is a goth? Well, from his study and from our knowledge, goths are normally, not always, but mainly a middle class subculture and they tend to have a kind of peaceful background. They're not particularly aggressive, they're not particularly resistant against things that you might have seen from other subcultures in and around their particular era, like things like punks, but they are generally a peaceful, non-aggressive group. The goths tend to do very well because of their middle-class background, their interests tend to unite around music, poetry, maybe a shared sense of angst, and this generally is quite useful for the goths as it means that they are on the whole, quite successful later on in life. Now, Hodkinson would also note something that's very important and very different about goths compared to maybe some of the other subcultures is their longevity. Subcultures generally do not go on for a very long time. They're quick and they're volatile, and you are certainly usually just a subculture, a subcultural member for just a short period of your life. Hodkinson would look at the goths slightly differently and notice that they goth into their adulthood and goths goth perhaps for life might be something that we could say about the goths. Obviously, they might tone it down when they go into the workplace, but their spirit and the norms and values that they adhere to are similar throughout their youth and going into later on maturing into adulthood. Knowing about the goths is going to be pretty important, especially if you are focusing on youth culture as one of your sociology topics. This is because they can nicely compare to traditional subcultures like punks or skinheads, and they can compare against the neo-tribes such as ravers that you might have looked at from a postmodern perspective. This is because although they are subcultures in, yes, the more traditional sense, they have a longevity to them, which is atypical for most subcultures. In this way, they are different from the traditional subcultures and the more common now neo-tribe, the loose grouping of people from different backgrounds who come together for an evening and then go their separate ways. However, like all research, Paul Hodkinson's has a few problems and there are some evaluation points that you would need to know if you're writing an essay and trying to be uh, analysing and evaluating his perspective. One of the principal problems might be that in his research he uses quite a small sample size. There's only 100 or so people who he asks and who he interviews. Obviously, though, you have to bear in mind that he is completing an ethnography, which is a study of people in their natural habitat. Therefore, his study will have a high amount of validity, even if it's not reliable due to the kind of small sample size that he uses. It's also worth bearing in mind that Paul Hodkinson himself is a goth, and therefore there might be some research bias in terms of the findings that he might gain from his research. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, any comments or any concepts or writers that you would like me to look over, please do not hesitate to leave it in the comments below. I've dropped a list, a list of the references, as I always do, to see where you've got my information. And please remember to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Um, everything that you can do helps. So that would be absolutely brilliant. Thanks.